Hey YouTube, Gecko Guy here. Going to be doing a review on the Dramada BX 4.18 18 scale buggy by Dramada. Well, Ravel, I should say. Um, so just starting off, um, this is it looks like a Fly Sky FS GT 2B, but it is not. It's uh, got the same shell design, but it is. Um, from what Hobbyco says, it's different, and they do give you uh, the batteries to get you going for uh, double A's. You know, um, got your steering, throttle, dual rates, all that good stuff. Getting into the buggy, um, so let me uh, get a nice show of the chassis uh, because someone asked um, in my comments to show it. Alright, so starting off, um, do I think this is a good value for the money? And the answer to that is yes, I do. Um, you know, it's ready to run, so you can slap in the batteries for the transmitter, you can plug in the battery for the car and drive on the street right away. That is excellent. You know, $100, ready to run, waterproof. It doesn't get much better than that for a Mini. I mean, all these newer Minis, um, they're, they're coming out waterproof. And I think that's the norm for all these uh, Minis now that are being released here in 2013. Um, so, the Dramada is the cheapest out of all of them. And I can definitely see these Dramadas going under some, uh, some kids... Uh, Christmas tree because uh, you know Christmas is right around the corner at the time of this review so uh, You might be wondering you know what's up with the shocks and I told him about the Like the two-minute drive I had and my shock cap busted um, You know it was a quick easy fix, but it, it involved me going out and buying a bottle of shock oil I put a 60 weight in there, but I'm still gonna go bump it up to about a hundred weight so that is one thing right out of the box needs to be changed. Ditch the old oil and go with at least a hundred weight. Eighty, start off with eighty and work your way up. Um, you know, even work into differential fluid because that first drive out, I wasn't intentionally trying to crash. It's just how the car was handling. It was just bottoming out too fast. And even even right now, I I should still go up uh, in weight here. The tires are uh, nice and soft. They do uh, they do hold up pretty nicely. Um, the servo, I did have the servo go out on me, but again, Hobbyco's excellent, excellent, excellent customer service. Um, you know, they were quick to respond. Um, this was all on the Ultimate RC forum. They were quick. <clears throat> they were quick to respond, and then I, I sent them my address, and then. They shipped me some parts, uh, they gave me some shocks, rear shocks, they gave me a spare, and then they gave me these aluminum ones. Um, so, you know, I think that was unnecessarily kind of them. I was expecting just a servo, but, um, you know, hey, I got a free upgrade. But, um, the motor, I did notice, started to get a bit warm, but then again, here in Wisconsin, it's about 40 degrees out, so I can probably run probably good battery pack or two before I need to worry about the motor overheating um, because you know with this cold temperature it it's uh, it'll keep it pretty cold but um, if you're some someone who lives in a really hot um, state or environment um, I would definitely recommend the heat sink upgrade um, from my understanding and what Habico tells me uh, this is lipo ready um, but then again, it's got one of these funky connectors. All right, come on. It's got one of these connectors. I really, uh, I, I do not like these things, but uh, 
it's just something to get you going. And let me get the battery out for you guys. The battery. Also has that connector. 7.2 volt, 1300 ma. Uh, nickel metal hydride. Again, with this connector. I'm not really sure what it's called. But, um, oop, I got a bunch of dirt and stuff in there. That was for my bassing, uh, bassing, bashing session. Um, so, it, it is LiPo ready, but it does not have a LiPo cutoff. So, you need to invest in a cheap little uh, low voltage alarm. So, um, it it can take, uh, well, they, Dramada does have their own LiPo, LiPo pack. So, so this is just a cheapo YKS LiPo pack, 7.4 volt, 20C, 1600 ma. Eight bucks on eBay. It can easily fit right in here, hopefully. Maybe not. Yep, there we go. I'm sure I'll manage to squeeze that in there. But um, $8 on eBay, as opposed to the Dramada uh, LiPo. Uh, just They do have a Dramada LiPo, 7.4 volt. I, think, I believe it's 1600 ma. Again, with this kind of connector, but it's like $27. So you can get three of these for the price of one Dramada LiPo. Um, so... Sorry guys, sorry, uh, Habico, I, I can't recommend that LiPo for that price. Um, me being a budget basher, um, I'm definitely going to recommend the cheaper stuff. I've had these ever since my Mini E Revo and they've held up great. Um, I put them in my Iron Track uh, Centro and it, it does very well. Um, as far as breakages, you know, I didn't have any sort of plastic parts fail on me because with this brush motor you're not going too terribly fast but I do have a brushless motor that I'm going to be putting through it um, I've got a little Toro system so um, let's see you know it's fully adjustable uh, if there's anything you want to see uh, sorry it's just um, just a one shot like this but at the end of the video I'll do a little playlist uh, click on my playlist for the Dramada buggy and you can see how it drives on road off road you can see what you get in the box um, so I definitely do recommend this buggy and I in my opinion I think it's a great mini to have and I have a lot more fun with this than my iron track and my RC18 MT that I recently got rid of um, this is definitely going to be a good RC to have for uh, Christmas. So comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Be sure to click on that playlist to see the Dramada in action. All right. Sorry that the bottle's in the way.